Welcome back to part 2 of our Makeup Brush Cosmetic Bag Tutorial. In this installment, we'll guide you through the exciting process of stitching the wrap panels together and sewing the bag components. Get ready to create a solid foundation for your bag and add the finishing touches to bring it all together. Here is the layout of the completed panels to construct the cosmetic bag with wrap. First we will construct the wrap. Let's move on to the exciting part of stitching the wrap panels together. We'll start with the inside wrap panels to create a solid foundation for our project. Take the inside zipper panel and the inside brush panel and place them right sides together. Make sure the edges are lined properly. You can use pins to hold them in place for sewing. Now, sew a half inch 12.5 mm seam along the edges, following the border lines that are already marked on the panels. It's best to sew just inside these lines to maintain the desired dimensions. Once the seam is sewn, open the seam and carefully iron them flat. This will give our panels a neat and professional look. Set aside the inside wrap panels for now. Next, we'll repeat the same process for the outside wrap panels, which consists of the outside flat panel and the outside brush panel. Place the joint inside wrap panels right side up on your workspace. Then, take the joint outside wrap panels and place them wrong side up on top of the inside wrap panels, aligning the right sides together. Pay attention to matching the seams together. Pin all around the perimeter of the panels, leaving the opposite end to the curve of the wrap unpinned. This will ensure that we have an opening to work with. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew along the border lines already marked on the panels. Remember to leave the opposite end to the curve of the wrap open for now. After sewing, trim the side and curve seams, keeping a quarter inch distance from the stitching. For the open end seam, trim it half an inch from the stitching. To achieve a clean finish, carefully clip the curves of the fabric. Then gently turn the panels right sides out. Revealing the beautifully stitched wrap. Lastly, give the wrap panels a good press with an iron to remove any wrinkles and ensure they lie flat. This will add a polished touch to our project. This is the point where you want to add your clasp to the end of the wrap, so you can then close the wrap when the bag is finished. The clasp is placed on the curved end of the inside wrap panel with the zipper and brush panel. 
find the center of the curved end and attach the clasp so it is just below the triple stitch. When cutting the holes for the clasp, be sure to cut through only the top. The clasp back will be placed inside the wrap from the unsewn end. Please note that we forgot to do this for our sample back. We have to do some unpicking at the very end to get our clasp in. This is why you will notice that any further images from now do not include a clasp from the photo. Hold aside and this will be your completed wrap. Sewing the bag together. Open your zip so it is halfway open. To make sure the zipper pull does not come off the zipper tape, use your sewing machine to sew stoppers on both ends. Just a straight stitch and go over it a couple of times. We now need to find the middle of the bag panels, the wrap and the base of the bag. Starting with the bag panels, measure along the bottom of the panels, corner to corner, and mark where the middle is with the pin along the seam stitching. Do not pin through the lining, only through the panels. Repeat for the second bag panel and hold the side. Now moving on to the wrap. Measure along the open end of the wrap and mark where the middle is with a pin along the seam stitching and hold the side. Lastly, move on to the base panel. Measure along the base panel and mark where the middle is with the pin along the two long edges of the seam stitching and hold the side. Bring your bag panels with attached zipper back to your work surface. Have the lining pieces right side up and the bag panels right sides down. Flip one of the lining pieces over so it is now laying on top of the opposite lining piece. Right sides together, pin together lightly. Turn your bag panels over so they are right sides up. Both lining pieces should be pinned to one side. With your bag panels facing right side up on your workspace, place your wrap on top of the bag panel that has no lining underneath it. Have the outside of the wrap facing up and the inside of the wrap with the brush panel right sides together with the bag panel. Match up the pin on the wrap with the pin on the bag panel underneath. These pins are our middle marks that we made earlier. And light up the seam stitching on the wrap with the stitching on the bag panel. Pin or clip together. Using the sewing machine, stitch the wrap to the bag panel, stitching directly over the top of the seam stitching. Now lay the base panel on top of the wrap and attach bag panel and have the wrap and the base panel right sides together. Match up the middle pin marks with each other and pin or quilt clip together. Using the sewing machine, stitch the base panel to the wrap and bag panel, stitching in between the two seam stitching lines already on the base panel. We're using the stitching to the net technique for this step. This means when you are stitching, we will not stitch into the seam and pass the border stitching. When you get to the corner, simply back stitch a couple of stitches and then cut the thread. Again, we are not stitching into the end seams. Now turn the bag panels over so the lining pieces are facing up and the wrap and base panel are underneath. 
Unpin the lining and fold both lining pieces over so they are on top of the opposite bag panel. Lightly pin together. Now turn the bag panels over so the lining is now underneath. We need to now attach the opposite edge of the base panel to the opposite bag panel. To do this we will need to fold the wrap slightly over so it is out of the way of the seam. Bring the bag panel and the base panel right sides together and match up the two middle pin marks. Pin or quilt clip together along the edge. Using the sewing machine, stitch the base panel to the bag panel along where you have pinned. Stitching in between the two seam stitching lines already on the base panel. Again, we are using the stitching to the net technique for this step. Unpin your lining three pieces and bring the two together. Right sides together and then the two front panels right sides together. We now need to find the middle of lining three pieces and the lining four piece. Starting with the lining three pieces, measure along the bottom of the lining, corner to corner, and mark where the middle is with the pin along the bottom edge. Hold the side. Now moving on to the lining four piece, Measure along the lining four and mark where the middle is with the pin along the two long edges. Hold the side. Fold over one of the lining three pieces so it is then on top of the bag panels. Place your lining 4 piece on top of the lining 3 piece that is laying flat on your work surface. Have lining 3 and lining 4 right sides together and match up the two middle pin marks. Because we use stitching to the net technique when stitching the base panel to the bag panels, we need to keep this in mind when stitching our lining 4 and lining 3 together. To do this, we need to measure 5 8 1.5 cm in from the two short ends of the lining 4 and mark each end with a pin. We also need to leave an opening to turn the cosmetic bag out the right way later. Mark a 6.5 inch opening with pins. Using the sewing machine, stitch the lining 4 piece to the lining 3 piece. Being mindful of where you have pinned, stitch a half inch seam. Remove the pins along that edge. Now flip the bag over so the lining 3 piece with the attached lining 4 piece are now on top of the bag panels and the opposite lining 3 piece is laying flat on your work surface. Lift and bring the lining 4 piece over so it is now sitting on top of the opposite lining 3 piece. Have lining 3 and lining 4 right sides together and match up the two middle pin marks. We need to measure 5 8 in front of the two short ends of the lining 4 and mark each end with a pin.
Using the sewing machine, stitch the lining 4 piece to the lining 3 piece, being mindful of where you have pinned. We do not need to leave an opening on this side. Stitch a half inch seam. Make sure your zipper teeth are pointing downwards towards the lining. Have your zipper halfway open, then pin along the sides of the lining three pieces and the bag panels. We need to measure 5 8 in front of the corner of the lining 3 and mark with a pin. Using a sewing machine, stitch along the sides that you have pinned just inside the border stitching on the panels. And then when stitching on the lining side, stitch a more generous seam about three quarters of an inch. This will reduce the excess fabric in your lining when your purse is finished. Before we stitch our corners closed, we need to cut into the seams of our panels and lining. This will allow the fabric to lay flat when we are stitching. Please see the photos here to see where to cut. Pull the base out below the panel. Find where the stitching on the bag panel changes and go slightly upward and cut. Do not cut into the stitching. Repeat these two cuts for the second panel. Repeat the cutting process for the two lining three pieces as well. Cut where the stitching ends from where the base lining four was attached to the bag lining three.
Starting with the panels, bring the right side of the base panel and the bag panels together. Start by pinning the seam of the bag panel to the middle of the base panel. Then pin the remainder of the seam. Then sew a straight line of stitching across to close each corner by stitching in between the two stitching lines on the panels. Remembering to use the stitching to the net technique. Stitch a half inch seam, then repeat for the other side. Repeat the same process for the corners and the lining using a 3 quarters of an inch seam allowance. Clip the corners, then turn right side out through the opening. If you did not remove the tearaway stabilizer earlier, do that now. Use the pink thing to help push out the corners. Push the lining into the bag section. 
we need to work out where to put the second half of our clasp. A good way of doing this is by packing the bag like you would do and then closing the zip in the bag and folding over the wrap. This will give you a good indication of where your second half to your class should be. Mark where you want the second half of the class with a pen. We chose to put it just below the curve in the decorative stitching on the bag panel. Use the opening and the lining to add the clasp, being careful to cut the holes in the bag panel only. To choose the opening in the lining, you can either hand stitch or top stitch your clothes with your sewing machine. Push your lining down into the purse. Use a pointy implement such as the pink thing to push out the top corners of the purse. Your cosmetic bag is finished. You can now fill it up with all your favorite makeup and tools. Congratulations, you've reached the end of our Makeup Brush Cosmetic Bag Tutorial. You've learned how to sew the wrap panels, attach the clasp, and assemble the bag components. Now, you have a stylish and functional cosmetic bag to store and organize your makeup brushes. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more creative projects and tutorials. Happy crafting! Shop now at Sweepy.com